Hey you right guys, Trophy blah, 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 blah. Trophy Reacts here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 4 of How I Met Your Mother season 2. Last episode we had Lily and Marshall falling back into the ways that they were. Only temporarily though uh, and then Ted finding out a lot of information <laughs> about maybe too much information actually about his family as well but I thought the last episode was done really really well about that, how it was structured and excited to... So far the three episodes we've had this season have been great so hopefully they can keep that going um i don't expect it to be for every episode of this season but if it is for every episode this season i'm not going to complain so episode four guys if you enjoy make sure to leave a like because it does help the video and it does help the channel and patreon is linked down below if you do want to join us over on there then they should be on around episode i think just 14 i think they're pretty much 10 episodes ahead so yeah over halfway through the season and like i said that'll be linked down below if you do want to join on there but for now Let's do this. Sometimes a relationship goes so smoothly for so long that you think it will be that way forever. Mm. It never is. You always wait for well, the pin to drop. We just had our first fight. Oh. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh no. What'd you fight about? I fought a few times though. <laughs> oh, so anyway, well, the head architect unveils his new design to the whole company. And. Everyone's clapping. Let's see. No. no. Yes. Well, all skyscrapers kind of look like a Marshall. It's oh. a 78 story pink marble tower with a rounded top pink and two spherical tower. entryways at the front. <laughs> wow. wow. So it's the whole package. <laughs> yeah, you did. Had to. <laughs> oh, dude, if they're selling condos, you got to get me in. And don't give me the shaft. Yeah, you did. Had to. <laughs> These two are just bouncing off each other too well now. So you and Ted had your first fight. It obviously ended well. I mean, you're here with me. Actually, it didn't end at all. I started getting bummed out, so I came here. It's what I do. When my grandma died, Come I got a run. Oh. Ooh, two tragedies in one day. How was your day? Good. <laughs> wow, you're a great interviewer. Aren't you going to ask how my day was? No, I know how it was. Oh. It was awful. <laughs> oh, you want to run a movie tonight? <laughs> my work stories are interesting. I'm a television news reporter. Yes. Robin, what? Robin, I that's exactly Paul what from he was you. Gonna say. I was just helping him get there faster. No, people bore off. And there's some people who's like, you ask how their day is going, you just sit there and wait. And it's like, oh, sorry, yes, how was your day? It's like, oh my God, it's like teaching a four year old. What I don't do is tell you the same story over and over again. I mean, you wouldn't watch the same movie over and over again, would you? Maybe a great movie like Die Hard, oh, but Field God, of Dreams, once is more than enough. But... <laughs> so that's your go-to <laughs> bad movie? The number one example on the tip of your tongue of a bad movie is Field of Dreams? It's about ghost baseball players. I've not seen it. I, I've not seen it. I can't. I can't. <laughs> so now he's all mad at me about the stupid <laughs> movie. I love the difference Robin, in the reactions. he's upset because you wouldn't listen to him, not because you didn't like... Yeah, I'm with Ted all the way on this. How do you not like Field of Dreams? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Listening is the foundation of a relationship. And if he's really droning on, you can always practice saying the alphabet backwards. Droning on, though, that's different. If you drone on for like an hour every day, then then that's different. And at the end of the movie, when he has a catch with his dad, like, like he never did when he was young enough for it to matter. <laughs> can we talk about something else? If even Bond is like, <laughs> kind of want to see a field of dreams now. I haven't seen these guys since like last year before Lily and I broke up. So I'm gonna have to break the news to everybody. You're really gonna bum them out. Oh, uh, cool. This party's gonna suck. <laughs> well, love to join you at that one. <laughs> but I got tickets to Foxy Boxing. Like, I wish I could join you guys, but I gotta get back to my apparently boring job. Oh, Barney just goes and does all these things by himself. The architect angle doesn't even work on her. And third, I can't imagine that working on anyone ever. It's gonna That's work for Barney. You're always like. Ted Mosby, architect. <laughs> if it were me, you are kind of like, like that. Ted Mosby, architect. <laughs> Anything sounds impressive when it's said with the right attitude. <clears throat> Marshall Erickson, recently dumped and heading to a lame party. Whoa, whoa, ladies, please take it easy. There's enough of me for everyone. <laughs> oh, it got so into that. Oh my god. Ted Mosby, architect. He kind of has a point. That's the annoying thing about Barney. Sometimes he just does have a point. 
But don't try it, bro. Hey, just out of curiosity, if a guy told you he was an architect, what would you think of that? Are you kidding? Architects are hot. How do you think Mr. Brady scored a babe like Carol? Solid point. She did have hair of gold. <laughs> she did. Mm -hmm. Bro, Ted, I don't know about that. I've poured a lot of free drinks for you over the years. A lot. Carl, do you really want to be with a woman who would trade sex for beer? Only if you're into it. <laughs> okay. It's on me. Thanks. But I wonder where Ted went. Ted Mosby? Oh. An architect? Oh. He's famous among here. Such a cool guy. He was here earlier. And what made you decide you wanted to be Ted? I bet you can draw, can't you? <laughs> You should draw me. Well, I could try, but you might end up looking like a mid-century tri-level. <laughs> wow. If you want, my friend Marshall invited me to this party we could all go to. Marshall's great. He's just a lawyer, but and somebody has to push the paper around for us creative types. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Now he decides to start doing this. Okay, okay. it's awesome. It's a win-win. Ted got to vent and I don't have to hear it. Maybe after he's done with the talkie talk, he'll come over and I'll get the fun part. Okay, well, fair enough. That works for Robin. Picks up some random girl at a bar. You're supposed to freak out. Well, I'm not freaking out because in my mind, she's fat. She's a kickboxing instructor. Her ass looks better than my face. Okay. All right, we'll swing by the party. That's all she needed to hear. Well, yeah. Damn, these are some drunk So everyone here is just 42. Okay, seriously, who wants to shave my ass? That guy went on to become a Supreme Court justice. <laughs> okay, where are the guys uh, yes. in the hooker? Yo, what's up, ladies? Welcome to the party, yeah! Oh my god, it's this guy. From One Tree Hill and True Blood and 50 other things. Awards are nice, they look good on my shelf, but none of that acclaim means anything compared to the joy of seeing the sun rise the from the first room. building. Wow, I would love to watch the sunrise with you. I know you would. It's the job. Dude, should let us shave your ass tonight. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Everyone take a seat. I don't think anyone's gonna care, no offense. Um... Lily actually called off the wedding this summer to go to San Francisco. I mean, maybe they're all. So, we're broken up. Her name wasn't on your lease, was it? Because if not, New York state law, you're not obligated to give her half the deposit when you move. Mmm. Thank God he's here. Any personal effects she left in your house or dwelling become yours after 30 days. Oh, oh yeah. Guys, can we <laughs> cease and desist with the lawyer speak for a minute? Love died. The love that made you all believe in love, that's dead now. <laughs> no one cares to do that. Sue her. Uh, really? On what ground, Kara? On the grounds of... Shut up! <laughs> uh, so, okay, <laughs> Jesus. Attorney General. <laughs> do you feel like dancing? Yeah, okay. There is no way Ted went dancing. Ted hates clubs. Hell yeah, I love clubs. God, he's a new man. <laughs> design a cathedral tonight. Kind of take a whack at the whole relationship between God and man conundrum. I think he's going too into character. Hey, Marshall, you up for some super loud, repetitive music that hasn't changed since the mid '90s? Um, only always. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he gets it. It's bad. Dancing leads to sex. Did you grow up in that footloose town? Ugh, I'm calling him. I'm, I'm telling him. Not seen Footloose either. Sorry, it's a lot of films I need to see. Oh, hi, it's Robin. Can I talk to Ted? Oh, Robin, hi. Um, I remember the club scene in season one where they had to do subtitles. Okay, bye. That was this show, right? Marshall just lied. Oh. Um, Ted's cheating on me. Oh. To be fair, I don't think Ted's cheating. I think maybe this is all a ruse. We'll wait till we see the full story. Excuse me, uh, I'm looking for That's a couple a guys. Big ass bouncer, bro. Or two ten, sandy brown hair, and the other's a cheating bastard. I'm gonna need to refresh my memory. Jeez. Okay, fella. How's a 20 help your memory? Thanks, but seriously, it was crazy tonight. You really do need to refresh my memory. Can I have the... <laughs> no, no, no. I live across the street. That is one hell of a non sequitur. And he's gonna my turn home. it down. Well, I don't know. Ted. I suppose I should at least give you a ride home. 
Hop on. <laughs> I'll see you at book club, baby. I took this. Yeah, bring the coup nice. <laughs> right, this cannot be happening. The whole Ted Mosby <laughs> architect thing works. Architects rule! Where are they? Aren't you a little worried that a certain somebody might find out that you're doing this? And this isn't you, Ted. It is tonight. I don't, there's no way. If this is actually happening, wild. My girl likes clutches. Okay, fine. You should tell her that looks really good with the chocolate boot. <laughs> Bitch is lucky I brought my small purse. No room for my gun. Here. Now, where does the rodeo slut live? Jeez. The building with the green light, apartment 3C. Oh my god. How did you know that? Are you gonna kick this girl's ass? Yeah. And steal her purse. Okay. <laughs> Feel like she maybe has that above confronting Ted. T, let's do this. You ready? Now, should I just kick the door in? Those are really nice heels, and you already lost a purse. Let's see if it's unlocked. <laughs> There's no way she in. I, I don't buy that. Get in there and kick some spankable ass. <laughs> Robin. I'm the problem. What? You were right. I don't know how to be a girlfriend. I, I no, 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 Robin. In the world, and I made him a cheater. No, that's no, no, no. <laughs> if Ted is cheating, that is his problem. Buddy kickboxer. Actually, which is not. <laughs> Let's do this. Bring it. <sighs> Like, even if he's just in the apartment, though, that's still kind of wild, but we'll see. Well, we'll see and we'll find out that we know he's not cheating. Ted, you're not actually in this apartment. You're with Barney. Barney's fuck. What do you think you're... There it is, yeah. <laughs> Thank God you're here. Can you help with this? I need nails. Okay, I'm totally lost here. Where's Ted? Ted, he's at work. How did you huh. get here? Oh, is this all Barney's story? Girls, uh, I gotta go, but I'm leaving you in very good, if slightly solid hands. Oh, <laughs> don't go. You don't even know your name to look out for your buildings. Yeah, stay. <laughs> Excuse us for one second. Okay, you were right. The architect thing totally works. Mm -hmm. But I have a girlfriend, and I gotta get back to work. There we go. It starts to become more and more unbelievable. <laughs> Sorry, my, uh... Intern had to leave. Oh, well, that's too bad. I'm Anna, by the way. Ted Mosby, architect. Okay. <laughs> this is why everyone knew the name. Afraid a certain somebody might find out about this? I mean, this isn't you, Ted. It is tonight. <laughs> very clever, very well done. <laughs> Couple of hours that I cannot, as a gentleman, divulge to you. We did it right here and here and here. <laughs> But why would you use Ted's name? Uh, I've had some recent bad press on the World Wide Web, so I'm taking a T.O. on the whole using my real name thing. Yeah, that old thing, that old pesky thing. Th scenes like this and episodes like this work so well because it's all, as people remind me, it's like all told from Ted's memory anyway, so I love how much fun the show has with that. And thus ended this chapter of Let's Pour Our Hearts Out in the Bedroom of Barney's One Night Stand. Come on, let's go before she's so out of the shower. Every woman you're such a with. pig, you're not even going to say goodbye? I'll have you know, I composed a lovely form letter for use in just such an occasion. Just fill out her name and then... <coughs> Something with an A. Ah. Ah. I'll just put a residence. <laughs> She'll love that. Go, 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 go. Wow. What a charmer. Will Barney ever find anyone? <laughs> Robin took a long walk that night. She thought about how opening yourself up to another person usually means opening yourself up to going a little crazy. A little crazy? I don't... Given the things she thought she knew, I think she actually acted fairly well. Why are we in this apartment more? Hey. This is Ted's apartment. Hey. What are you doing here? No, he doesn't. I brought donuts. Where, this is his and job. This apartment is so stupid. <laughs> Why are we not here more? What the hell? <clears throat> so, uh, how was your night? It was fine. Nothing exciting. How was yours? You really want to hear about boring architect stuff? It would kind of look like an apartment if it wasn't for the board meeting table just slapped in the middle of the room. 
<laughs> to tell you the truth, I never even saw all of Field of Dreams. I fell asleep halfway through. What? The best part's the last 20 minutes. Well, maybe they should have moved that part up a little bit earlier, because, you know what? Just, um, just stop, just stop. I've sort of been working on my own idea of what I think the building should be. Let me see. What do you think? Let me see. You know that time we went to Spokane and I pointed out that skyscraper? Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was the first building I ever designed. Jeez, it was And that night rich, was the rich, first though. time I showed anyone my first drawing of it. Wow. Ted, this is amazing. So, Ted's rich. Girls find architects very hot. Apparently so. That's what this episode's taught us. Okay. But I don't want you expecting 78 stories or anything. Mm. <laughs> God, let's kill Robin with that, Jesus. Very good episode. I'll re oh! Dear resident, Forgive the me. time we spent together, however long it was, meant the world. However long it was. Again, but unfortunately, I cannot. You see, I am a ghost. Right. I can only materialize once every decade She's gonna believe on this. the anniversary of my death. I chose to spend my one day <laughs> among the living with you, sweet resident. <laughs> Perhaps we will meet again in another decade, provided you keep your figure. Until then, all my love from the beyond, Barney. Who the hell's Barney? Barney. Yeah. <laughs> Who the hell is Barney? <laughs> Very good. Yeah, the, the more that went on, the more it kind of became unbelievable that Ted was the one doing all these things, but... A very good little little twist at the end, I guess you would say. But uh, yeah, and like I said, because even the scene where we saw it twice with um, her jumping on, but I guess it would be Barney's back and riding him off to the apartment. Like that was done in two different ways. But that were, I feel like a lot of shows you'd see that scene again, you'd be like, oh, but that's completely different from how it was shot and how they gave the line delivery and the, when they showed it the first time. Whereas this is one of the few shows where it works, where it's kind of you know, they're delivering the lines differently. It's the same scene, but just, diff you know, done differently because uh, it's Ted telling the story, so it'd be done, and their, like, imagination of it, I guess, would be done differently as well. So, uh, yeah, it's one of the few shows where that's actually, I would say, a positive because you can just have so much fun and creativity with those parts. So another really, really great episode. Um, the season is delivering very well at the moment. So we'll go another 8 out of 10, I think. Um, which, let me just check with season... Oh, the mouse is dying. Come on, mouse, you can do it. Just get me to the end. <laughs> We've had an 8, an 8, an 8, and another 8. So 4 8 out of 10s already with this season. We are on a roll. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know if you thought the episode down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time for episode 5. Until then, take care. Peace.